What year is it? 2021? Happy New Year! Um, you're a few days late, sis. Did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? Because I didn't. The definition of crazy is doing the same thing every time and expecting different results. I never meet my New Year's resolution, so why would I make a new one? Also, are any New Year's resolutions truly new? The reason why I never feel like I meet my New Year's resolution is because the resolution itself is ever growing. It's a lifelong process. For example, I tend to make the same New Year's resolutions in the past every single year, i.e. saving money. That's a lifelong resolution. It's not gonna end at the end of this year. So I'm going to stop this crazy madness that is New Year's resolutions and just work on some lifelong goals. Speaking of saving money, there is a 100 envelope challenge floating around the internet. What is the 100 envelope challenge? Glad you didn't ask. I'll tell you anyways. Note that there's variations to the 100 envelope challenge. This is one of them. You take 100 envelopes and you number them one through 100 and that's a dollar amount that you're supposed to put away in every envelope. There are roughly 52 weeks in a year, so every week you draw randomly two envelopes and that's the money that you should set aside that week. At the end of the year, you would have saved $5,050 by doing this 100 envelope challenge. So let's try it out. <sighs> well, I already ran into my first problem. I don't have 100 envelopes lying around. I mean, seriously, with email and Zoom and everything these days, who really has a hundred envelopes just lying around sending snail mail unless you're paying bills? And that's no fun. So, I'm going to improvise a little bit. If we're talking about saving money, I'm not about to spend money before I can even save money and order a hundred envelopes. I found this sticky note set. <laughs> that's in the shape of an envelope and doesn't yours doesn't have to be in the shape of an envelope but I have probably enough sticky notes that I will now be numbering one through a hundred one two Three, four, five. Have I guessed your password yet? I hope that's not your password. If it is, please change it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten hours later. Just kidding. Twenty minutes later. One hundred. Thank you, thank you. That was really hard. Thank you. Please keep cheering. No, please stop. No, please keep cheering. Now, I can easily just fold these up and throw them in a basket to draw from. Here's the deal. As I'm thinking about the 100 envelope challenge, what if one week you draw $88 and $98 and that week you just don't have the extra money laying around. Well, I have a solution for that. You just add a zero in the front. So now it's 88 cents. Who cares if we can't reach the $5,050? Do what's right for you.
I don't know where you are in your savings journey, but you could be a college student right now that just doesn't have the extra disposable income. I mean, with the way the world is currently moving, there are so many unforeseen circumstances that can pop up. The last thing you want is to feel stressed out over a challenge. So if you have the 88 cents, go for it. If not, feel free to add another zero in the front and just move the decimal over so that you can round it up to nine cents. Ooh, another one. 98 cents. I love adding zeros. How much do you weigh? Zero. I'm light as air. How old are you? Zero. I wasn't even born yet. How old will you turn? In a year? Zero. I don't age. How hot are you on a scale of one to 10? Zero. Okay, maybe not that one. Obviously, I'm just kidding. Another problem I'm finding with this challenge is that I don't really have that much cash laying around. And even if you go to the ATM, you're likely drawing $20 bills at a time. So it makes things kind of tricky when you draw a $7 one day and then, you know, a $9 another day. So if I were to do it, I would just transfer the dollar amount that I drew from my checking account to my savings account because I'm also writing this on post-it notes. So there's really no envelope to stuff my cash in. I think this hundred deserves a smiley face. Oops, missed it. Missed the eyeball. There you go, fixed it. So I don't know if this 100 envelope challenge is really for me. I mean, just trying to do this, I already ran into several problems. Number one being, I just didn't have 100 envelopes laying around. And when I did decide to improvise and use post-it notes, it kind of doesn't feel the same as stuffing 100 envelopes worth of cash and finding it at the end of the year. And if I'm going to transfer money digitally, I might as well put the money into my Roth IRA. If you're a freelancer or independent contractor, there are options to opening up your own tax-free Roth IRA so that you can still have a retirement savings account while being self-employed. You can make up to $6,000 of contributions per year. And if you work for a company, Try to look into whether or not your company matches your 401k contributions. I think I found a better use for my post-it notes instead. Back to savings. You can always invest in cryptocurrency or stocks, but obviously those are a little bit riskier and more volatile. So I recommend doing your research on that. As a rule of thumb for myself, I don't invest any money that I'm not ready to part ways with. So here's to saving in 2021 and beyond, and I hope we can save together. Bye.